Hi everyone, Anjar here. Uh, today, I'm going to tell you uh, a story about our project with Mega Media Indonesia. So we have collaborated uh, to implement this project. Uh, the project is about how we promote blame institution uh, using OpenStreetMap and Megadata. So in this project, we actually um, involve the youth to add data into OpenStreetMap as well as Wikidata. And later, I'm going to tell you how we um, engage them to involve in some of our activities, such as competition, as well as uh, in-person training and online training. Yeah, before that, uh, I come from a non-profit organization in Indonesia called Perkumpul OpenStreetMap Indonesia. We essentially using OpenStreetMap as our main platform. Uh, as we know, OpenStreetMap um, is a Wikipedia of map. Yeah, it called so uh, because the first time the founder, uh, Steve Koss, who found OpenStreetMap, he get inspired by Wikipedia, so he wanted to create the Wikipedia of maps. That That's uh, when he tried to uh, collaborate with uh, many volunteers to make an open map called OpenStreetMap uh, that we use uh, nowadays. Yeah, with our uh, of a bit of our activities, uh, this is why we try to do this project. Uh, the project actually uh, come from the fact that many uh, blame institution data in Indonesia have not digitalized yet. So we want to utilize OpenStreetMap and Wikidata. So later, the Glam Institution object in the real life will be digitalized. So everyone then can, yeah, can search in OSM and Wikidata to have to gather uh, some information about the Glam Institution as well as promoting it uh, through many platform, social media and yeah, basically, we want to make the data is open uh, to the public. This is our three main events. The first one is how we uh, we conducted a training, uh, specifically online training for the students. We only targeted the student because uh, the youth uh, is our potential um, community, our potential um, audience. That's why uh, we use, uh, I mean, we involve them in this, um, in our event mostly. Uh, the training itself, the online training itself run from September to December uh, last year. And the second one is Galactico. Galactico is a data visualization co competition that also involves the youth, uh, both the youth that have been trained by us as well as the youth, uh, I mean, the public itself that have not um, joined it in our previous training. I mean, the University of Toronto show. And this Galactico uh, happening in January and was happening in January and until May uh, 2023. And the last one, we developed a web JIS where everyone can uh, see there about the location of Glam Institution in Indonesia, as well as find more about uh, find information about the Glam itself uh, based on OpenStreetMap and Wikidata. And then the first one, uh, University of Show, uh, that's how we call it. Actually, the event itself uh, contain of something like a promotional event, training, uh, mini competition, as well as some data validation too. And we involve many universities, uh, almost yeah, actually 10, but one of the universities uh, was not actually attending this uh, event because of some academic calendar issues. And we also group them into three sessions. So everyone has uh, to adjust their ac academic calendar to our uh, schedule. And this is the initial result of how uh, the participant of this training session 
um, yeah, the knowledge and the abilities. They have increased knowledge and abilities after the training session. Before the training session, actually, we we give them something like a promotion or socialization uh, to to the universities that take part in our uh, training session. Almost uh, more than three hundred participants in this uh, promotional event, and then we give them information about uh, how the training is going to happen. What kind of things that they need to prepare? Actually, this is an online training, so all they need to prepare is uh, just themselves uh, attending the training itself, and yeah, register to the uh, registration form. And the actual event uh, where it had it was happening uh, in three batches or three sessions. Uh, yeah. While we have something like 300 participants in promotional event, we actually have uh, around almost 200 participants uh, during the training session. Not, not, uh, not a small number, but this is actually uh, so many uh, students uh, because we split them into three batches and then we give them uh, three mini competitions so they have uh, more motivation. Uh, to do the training as well as adding more data to OpenStreetMap and Wikidata. In this training, actually, we um, give them uh, the training about how they can uh, improve the OpenStreetMap, uh, as uh, particularly on adding more data about Glam Institution, uh, as well as in Wikidata. Our instructor uh, from Wikimedia Indonesia uh, give them um, tutorial, the material about how to contribute in Wikidata how they can create a Wikidata account, and then how they can edit uh, something like uh, the parties of the of uh, Wikidata uh, data and then stuff like that. Yeah, this is uh, just some statistic about uh, how many number, how, how many number uh, of data we got from the training, uh, quite a lot. Yeah, and then the second one, uh, our main event is a uh, GLAM data competition, I mean, the data visualization competition or called Galactico. The objective of this competition is actually to raise awareness uh, about the GLAM competition to the public. So the public will know uh, what, what what is GLAM and then how important GLAM is uh, for the future, for the uh, nowadays generation, as well as learn about the past. And then, yeah, we we also uh, encourage them to use open data tools, I mean, open data platform, such as open and Wikidata, so they will have more information uh, to put to their um, data visualization. Uh, in this case, uh, they are going to, they, they, they use uh, the, um, yeah, they will apply the data visualization in the form of infographics and reels or short videos. So they will swap the map and make the data uh, for the information and then they uh, transform it into an infographics and a short video. Yeah, as well as um, same as the previous uh, our main event, uh, in this competition, we also try to separate our our project uh, systematically by giving them socialization uh, as well as um we yeah we uh giving them we give them um the timeline of when they they can upload their uh reels and videos I mean the reels and uh, infographic and stuff like that. So in this case, uh, we open registration since the registration since uh, February after, and then the participant can upload their reels and videos, reels and infographic in March, and then we we try to do assessment in April and May, and the announcement of the winner also in uh, at the end of May. Yeah. Before the competition itself, we actually conducted a socialization in 
two type of uh, form. The first one, uh, we give them an in-person training. I mean, we invite the community to attend our in-person training in Bandung. As well as we also conducted an online webinar when we try to uh, give the public uh, information about how they can participate to this into this competition. Yeah, uh, for the in-person training that conducted in Bandung, we also uh, gather quite a lot of data, as well as we uh, try to involve more community, uh, particularly related the community related to historical uh, building that also have interest in GLAM and stuff like that. And this is the documentation of how the training uh, was going on. And also for the online uh, promotional event, we we invite a speaker from Nescal Institute talking about the historical object and as, as well as how important GLAM is. And this is uh, the big picture of requirements uh, of this competition. When during the registration process, we actually got uh, around 136 team that registered to this um, competition. And then only 107 team uh, pass uh, the registration requirements. And it contains of 86 infographic team and also 21 real team. Yeah, and the final team that actually uploaded their uh, real and infographic is 18 for the infographic and 14 uh, for the real team. Yeah, you can uh, you can find uh, their uh, infographic and reels in Instagram platform uh, by typing the hashtag Galactico 2023. You will uh, find many reels and Instagram. I mean, many reels and infographic related to Galactico uh, 2023. And this is uh, just our uh, how we assess uh, the reels and infographics. And during the winner announcement, we also invite a community called Alay Community uh, to give uh, their um, yeah to give the material about how important glam, also how important uh, historical object, and yeah, just um, they try to encourage our participants to be more aware of how important glam is. And the last one uh, we built. A web uh, that where we can find uh, GLAM data into uh, this web uh, If you click to one of the point of interest, you will find uh, some information and you also can download the data from this web piece. And this web piece also, uh, we try to improve this one uh, for the future. Uh, something like we want uh, this web piece to be real time updated based on how opposite of change real time as well as the key data. Yeah, and so many lessons learned uh, from this project actually. Uh, but yeah, some of these are totally very technical, but some of them actually we need to consider for the future one. Uh, for example, the the one that uh, we really need to consider the calendar academy of the students if we want to invite the university student to our uh, events because that will be um uh, i mean the schedule will be will depend on the academic calendar of the student so if you want uh, their participation in 100% then you need to make sure uh, your schedule uh will not conflict with their academic calendar and also uh, for the i mean for the competition itself and also the training Actually, yeah, I mean, the lesson learned is that many students or many, uh, even public, uh, they don't really know about, uh, they do not really know about GLAM. So when they uh, know about it and see the participant, uh, competition participant uh, video, uh, both reels and in, in book topic, they, they know about, oh, well, the public, for example, they, they, they they feel like uh quite surprised about how good 
library nowadays uh, with its facilities, uh, its uh, features, uh, as well as uh, if you go to library nowadays, you will find something like cafe, cafe and also um, child playground even. Yeah, they, they uh, most of our audience consider to visit a library as well as museum nowadays. So yeah, actually this uh, promotion, I mean, this even uh, really have an impact on how the public see the Glam institution nowadays. Yeah, and that's all from me. Uh, thank you very much for this opportunity uh, for me to present this uh, material. Uh, hopefully, uh, we can work again with Wikimedia Indonesia as well as any Wikimedia um, uh, office country. Uh, so we will have uh, something like um, more integrated um, open data platform in the future. Thank you very much.